Hello everybody and welcome to Primal Survival. So I guess it's time I made a video about ticks. Yes, our eight-legged little uh, arachnid family friends that like to get on us, suck our blood, and make us sick. So ticks can transport a lot of diseases to humans. And I personally have got one about three years ago, which was tick fever. And uh, I had to take two months worth of doxycycline, four pills a day, to get rid of it and it was a horrific experience very painful you do not want to get sick from these little guys so I'm gonna go over uh, the top three ways I believe into keeping them off your body so the first way is bug spray you know off repellent DEET uh, now these chemicals aren't the greatest for our bodies but there's no contest in choosing um, the bug spray over possibly getting sick from a tick you will be glad to use the bug spray uh, the second way is to wear minimal clothing. Now, I personally like to wear um, short shorts, like some cutoffs, some sandals, and no shirt. If you're a girl, you just roll your shirt up like this, put some shorts and some sandals on, and you can go out and have fun like that. It's going to be hot anyway. Um, a lot of folks like to tell you, oh, you know, put the boots and the jeans on, put the jeans inside the boot, duct tape it wear long sleeve shirts and all this, but it's going to be hot as Hades outside. You don't want to do that. And secondly, the ticks actually find you anyway, and they get in the, the folds of your clothing, and they build up there. And I know this because I've, this has happened to me before. And then um, whenever the ticks do get through, you will get a few through these layers of clothing. You can't pick them off right away, and they're sitting there just chewing on you and bedding themselves um, during your time in the woods. Uh, and then you go inside your house or your tent, you take your clothes off, and all those ticks are still in your tent now, and they will reattach themselves. So I like to go with the minimal clothing uh, method. The third method is essential oils, so natural bug repellent. Uh, eucalyptus, I think peppermint is one. Clove, cinnamon oil. Um, I've never done this because I never had an overabundance of these essential oils to liberally rub on my body while I'm out in the woods. So, um, all right, well, stay tuned. I'm going to take a nice walk through the woods and see if I can't get myself covered in ticks. Okay, so I got my shorts on. I'm just going to walk through this for you. I am going to get some ticks today. Lovely. All in the name of science and education and how to keep yourself uh, clean from getting ticks. So, I know I already got some on me, I can't feel them because I'm walking, but I've lived out here for the last seven years. Guaranteed, I will have a mass amount of ticks on me. Oh man, I know there's a whole bunch right through this little pathway here. This is going to be bad. So ticks carry all kinds of diseases. You get Lyme disease that can affect you for life if you don't treat it early. Ow, those are thorns. Look at these pretty flowers. Come on, zoom. There, oh, there it goes. Uh, you can get, I believe, rickets from it. You can get um, tick fever, which is just what I had, basic tick fever. Uh, you can get Rocky Mountain spotted fever. So let me tell you what I went through about three years ago. Oh, there's a big fat bumblebee. Whoa, Mr. B. Take it easy. I mean, no harm. So, um... I started to have flu-like symptoms and uh, man I had a bad fever and it would not break for two weeks I had a fever I had headache I had double vision um, pounding splitting headache super bad fever I was taking 800 IUs of um, ibuprofen just so I could sleep and then the fever would break because of the ibuprofen and it and then it would um, it would return and I did that for two weeks, a cycle. So, I mean, I would, when the fever would break, covered in sweat. I mean, pulling up in my belly button, all just in, on my, in my stomach, on my, on my chest, soaked, wool blankets. Horrible, horrible. I couldn't wish that on anybody. I don't care what you've done or whatever. No tick fever for anybody in the world. Uh, so I, had, I went to the doctor, had blood work done. And I had tick fever, which is a bacteria that gets in your bloodstream. So, with you know, antibiotics will work on it. Uh, and it attacks your central nervous system. 
my neck started to get stiff and that is what leads up to meningitis so whenever that whenever that started to happen my dad said that's enough uh we're going to the doctor and they gave me the antibiotics so oh i know this is a place full of ticks right here i gotta make sure i get enough to show everybody uh, look at this nice wooded area it's like sherwood forest in here beautiful right ow ow thorns you know what there's 800 black bear estimated in Missouri right now especially down here in these um, southern Ozark woods and too bad I don't have my gun on me for bear protection or my dogs I got a couple of I got a couple of uh, hog dogs bear dogs hey bear Hey bear, shoe bear. Okay, well I think that's enough walking in the woods to get some ticks on me. Let's have a seat and find how many and what different kinds are on me. Okay, so I'm sitting on the back of my Denali on the bumper and I am crawling in them. They are all over me. Let me show you. There's one right there. That's a Lone Star Tick. Look at all these little ones. I don't know if you can see them. Those are seed ticks. Look at this guy. He's already trying to sink his teeth in. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm going to pull these off and I'm going to showcase them on a piece of paper and I'll identify them for you. Okay, so these are just a few of the ticks I found on me. They are spirited little animals. That's disgusting. Oh no, where'd that one go? Oh, I'm losing them. Ah, get back here. Look, those two are having a wrestling match. So, this is just a few of them. Look how many you can get, and all of them can get you sick. Okay, everybody, welcome to my cabin. Now, you've seen it before in my other videos. So, I'm here on my computer, and I'm just going to read to you the diseases transmitted by ticks. Okay. So, in the United States, some ticks carry pathogens that can cause human disease, including anaplasmosis, babesiosis, Borrelia mayoni, Borrelia myamotoi, bourbon virus, Colorado tick fever, Echlichiosis, Echlichiosis, Heartland virus, Lyme disease, Pawasana disease, Rickettsia parkeri, Rickettsia parkeri, which is Rickettos, Rickettsiosis, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, Starry, which is Southern tick associated with a rash illness, tick-borne relapsing fever. I think that's what I had. That sounded like what I had. Uh, Tularemia and 364D Rickett, Rickettsiosis. So these are horrible diseases that can be contracted by leaving a tick on your body. And they say for 24 hours, you have 24 hours before you gotta pull the tick off. And um, so what happens is there's bacteria in the tick's digestive tract. And they regurgitate it somehow into your own bloodstream and that's how you get the illness. So um, I'm gonna include some actual pictures, close-ups of the ticks and uh tell you which ones they are all right well thank you for watching primal survival this has been a very important episode on your health and uh things you are going to encounter searching for wild edibles is ticks so all right like share subscribe and stay tuned for more wild edibles coming next week bye bye